the last U.S. exit. So we are fully committed to cross the border at San Ysidro. We will be at Ensenada about 7 o'clock. Chase 2 made it across the border. Uh, we didn't get stopped, but uh, Chase 1 and the bus were stopped. And they'll look at the bikes and then uh, we'll connect. So all good so far. The giant Jesus. That is. You know, we gotta talk to each other while we're racing. Um, communication is key. Communication is key. It's very uh, treacherous out there. And if I can't talk to my teammate, I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> Back to your oh, lobby. Oh, cowboy! Well, you so will have to calibrate a yeah. little bit. And the other time you have to do this, if you, if you miss a turn and you go out, yeah, yeah, yeah. then you come back to where you know you are, then you calibrate that. Hi, guy. I'm Pietro Bologna from Italy. I come here especially for the Nora. I think I am the best, the first Italian driver in Nora race. And this year we have a new, the new, we have the Vespa from 19080. From Italian product special for where, wherever, and two two years we are here for Win and Nora. Hey, it's Saturday, 30th of uh, April, and uh, the boys are out on a training run. So they've got a practice road. They're going to do about a 60-kilometer loop uh, to Ojos Negros. And then back and just really to check out the nav equipment check out everything make sure the bikes are running well and uh, that they're comfortable with navigation for Sunday and then uh, tomorrow Calvin and Sterling will be leaving a line soon after 6 o'clock uh, on Sunday morning and then we'll race them I'll just drop. I wonder if anyone else has had these issues. This is why we use GPS. That's for real. That's what I mean. It's like, Jimmy, lock down on both these. Chicken skips. That would be like port or gate. And then uh, for the next day, then we're gonna start at the same spot we always yeah, do in front yeah. of the Cortez. Okay, <clears throat> start of the transit section. Yeah. These guys will get on, 
we'll fill them up and then they're Good. and they should be fine we'll fill them up here and then we'll just keep going and they'll we'll meet them in uh and then so we'll that. Yeah. laurel what laurel sumac they call it the taco plant yeah I have no idea. I remember unplugging it though when we were there. You did? Yeah. Right. To walk around the bike. Oh. <laughs> Don't tell my dad about that one. Hey, it's Phil Benham here. We're in Ensenada outside the San Nicolas uh, Hotel parking lot. Um, we're part of Tutto Mundo, which is uh, all world in Italian and in Spanish. So I got the rest of the team here. I got Fabio, my brother Marcus, the, the purest Italian right here. Come on, Pietro, say hi. Hi, our cousin. Ciao. Jose Mazzetti in the background. Our cousin. Pat, 10 time District 38 champion. And of course, Roger Benham. He's the fastest Benham on, all, on two wheels. These two guys were in Italy together and he was showing him pictures of riding uh, Baja. He said, if you build a Vespa, oh, I'll bring it. Because I've been begging him to come. He said, come and ride our, you know, in the trucks, come and ride the buggy. He kept saying, no, no, no. And then he goes, you buy, if you build a Vespa, race Vespa, I come. So these are scrap uh, Vespas that we uh, pulled out of the junkyard that, uh, we we completely rebuilt. Um, part of the part of the thing we did. The first thing is these are U.S. Vespas, so they come with 16 millimeter front ends. We went with 20 millimeter that are only available in Europe. We had to actually send Marcus all the way to Italy to talk to Pietro to, to to get the, the the shocks when we finally the front end when we finally got ready to to run it. So we got the, the beefy front end, and then we said, well, in our testing in the desert, we need to have some stabilization. So we built in the Scott steering stabilizer. The second part we did was, in order to not topple the frame, we put these, uh, we call them the boomerangs, because they look like boomerangs. Uh, they, we reinforced the, the floorboard to strengthen the, the, the bike in the center. In the back, what we did was the shocks. The weakest point is the shock on the back coming through the frame. We got a metal plate that's welded in there. So strength in the front, the middle, and the back. Being out in the desert, one of the craziest things is because the engine, wheel, transmission are all in one, the bike pivots in the middle and the engine pivots. So we took it out to the desert and we were starting to endo over all the whoops because the exhaust pipe was dragging on the ground. So we invented the skid flap. So you'll catch up to Sterling. We at? Uh, and then you guys can leave, go through the gate, and then you can race together. It's uh, it's about uh, almost six, and we're getting ready to leave the line. Sterling and Calvin will be leaving just after six. We should be ready to go. Uh, first stop will be Santo Tomas for some gas, and then they'll be racing after that. So it's going to be a long day and a good one. Good luck, guys. Cal, you want to get a real quick? Yeah. Yeah. So I think Buongiorno ai miei fans dal Messico, da California e dall'Italia. Siamo pronti per la partenza della prima tappa del Nora 1000 Miglia Racing. 
e noi siamo quelli che hanno già vinto perché essere qui già è stata una bella avventura io sono Pietro vengo dall'Italia e sono qui per partecipare a questa pazzia collettiva che è il Nord Racing e soprattutto per la tequila e per le donne messicane Pulled over for uh, no shot on urination. Bail, jail. California dream. But uh, we got we got him back. We're, we're moving forward. Minor hiccup. All, That's all, fucking profile. <laughs> yeah. All part of the journey, but. Right here, you're gonna time in right here. I dive. Uh, that's, when we hit, that's when we hit a... Uh, yeah, and then you guys will probably go left and then around the lake and you just be navigating so wait, are we that. we're gassing up here at the other... We're gassing lake? up here. Here, okay. Yeah. Then we're, I mean, we're good. You did. Really. You'll be fine. You're yeah. gassing up here. Ow.
bunch of monkey sketchers. the turn and then I missed this turn. What time the time did you clock out at? Okay, I was only three minutes behind you. So you guys found the food. Already oh, oh, no. already chowed. Wait, wait, oh, look how good it is. Where's oh, mine, it's gone, B. And, and then it was fucking pretty loomy. There's some stock. I was I was like going off of like the, there's two roads through the middle. And I was hitting the silty side just so I didn't have to eat next to us. So I waited. I just stopped like a good friend and waited instead of blasting ahead like someone. <laughs> um, but then I kept going, whatever, and then all of a sudden I looked down 10 minutes later and the fucking thing was spinning. Like the damn thing was spinning in there. It had pulled, it had pulled out the bottom. Yours was? Yeah, it ripped it off and it was just spinning. So the thing was probably my thumb to be honest. Uncle Mark took care of me, so. These are pretty damn good, This man. is my shout out to Uncle Mark. Oh my God, Nick, this is amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> B, how good? Amazing. not that good. Mr. Masculo, this is the best. It's bueno, it's the bueno kind in Mexico. The best, nothing better. Mr. Masculo. today to Guerrero Negro about uh, 500 kilometers and uh, let's see the riders today starting out will be Mitch and Calvin and then we will change riders at Urfinito and they'll take it into Guerrero Negro. Good luck boys. Be amazing, it'll be a great ride, and Jimmy loves you.
gracias por oh, trabajar. Gracias a ustedes. Gracias a ustedes. Hey, she's single. <laughs> hey, be Cal? Yeah, he's, yeah, he did. Uh, I passed like seven dudes. Did you? Nice job, work. Man. Nice work. That was, the nav was technical once you got by the water. Really? It was like, there's so many moshes and yeah. parts that are main. Well, you did, I, I got you off. I went the wrong way. I saw this guy gone. Followed him through the salt flat. And then, uh, and then he went the wrong way through town. That was, that was fucking exhausting. Was it? Oh my god. You kicked ass though, dude. Holy I mean, you. I, no, no. He knows to stop here. Yeah. I mean, you can, see, you can go ask them. Go ask yeah. their number. See what numbers they've logged in. I mean, I, I took the wrong. I, I didn't take the wrong turn, but I missed. Like in the wash. Did like, you ever see uh, Calvin? No. No. He might have kept going. He's going to go ask if they have his number written down. He honestly probably didn't even realize this is the transit we're talking about. Don't worry, I hit down this thing. When we leave here, we're just going to jam. And we're going to wait here for you guys. Okay. If everything's good, if you're, yeah, if, if you got gas and everything, we're going to, you just keep blowing through. Okay. I mean, if, if we're not there for some reason or whatever, and you guys are all good, then keep going. Uh, navigation suck. Jimmy Lewis can Um, But the ride was fun. What's it sound like in the whoop section? <laughs> so this is our start right here, right? Uh, yeah, I barely yeah. drink it. I don't know, I'm just a camera guy, dude. Okay, we're at uh, El Orfanito. So we made a rider change. So uh, Nick and Sterling are on and they're gonna have a long run to uh, Guerrero Negro. So they've got about uh, 200. Bikes are doing great. We had to find a little minor uh, fix on the navigation system on 96, but we got that fixed. We're gassed up, everything's going well, so we'll see you at the next spot.
one's our checkpoint. Need to replace that yeah, tire. One that tire is fine. Yeah. It's pretty bald. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we had to like push him up this fucking dune, and then it was just like a sheer drop. And we were both like, oh! <laughs> Alright, we had a little problem with the bus. It comes with the uh, the territory, two, 2003, 200,000 miles uh, bus. Special bus, as you can see. And a uh, little uh, vacuum uh, hose issue. We have a local Teal and God working on the problem right now. So we think it's gonna get resolved. He went and took the part. Hopefully he's not just taking it home to give it to his wife for, for uh, Christmas. I can't believe how it's, the territory is here. It's fantastic. Different valley, different um, cactus. It's incredible. So dry, but the race is fantastic. The organization perfect. I can't believe it. Uh, today is very hard because in the sand it's not. This little, little uh, road is very difficult to, to make up sand. It's very tired at night. But we are fast. Huh? And tonight we make it fast. Huh? It today totally kicked our butts. The deep sand was miserable on the Vespas. We were down and out in the first quarter mile and it's been pushing and shoving and falling all day. We got stuck in the wash out of uh, Herpanito. We got off the course literally about uh, 30 seconds before the number one trophy truck came through. He almost ran, ran up our ass, but we we got great ch great chase team and they got us off the course in time. And then, uh, then we hauled ass down to the uh, Baba Chino crossing, but we didn't get there in time. The trucks were coming through. We didn't want to go. Buenos dias, we are in uh, Guerrero Negro. It is uh, day three of the Nora Mexican 1000. Uh, we came in three, about three o'clock local time yesterday. The boys are running, currently running fourth and fifth with penalties. So doing running really strong. We're hoping to improve on that today. Uh, we did some maintenance yesterday. Bikes are running strong, uh, just routine stuff. The boys are healthy, nobody got hurt. So today we are heading to um, we're heading to Loreto, uh, but the first uh, first rider change will be San Ignacio. So we've got another big day today, a little little less than yesterday, but uh, it's it's going to be a it's going to be a long day. The bus has got a vacuum pump issue, and we've got to get that changed out in. Loretto. Uh, brakes aren't too good, 
Uh, it's like driving a 55 uh, Chevy truck right now. And uh, so we'll be going slow and get it into Loretto and get that fixed. Doing good. Looking forward to another adventurous day. They tried to hit us with 37 minutes of penalties. So I'm filling out this form. Still in fourth overall, no big deal, but you know, this will bring us up to second. The bikes take gas, I take PB and J's. <laughs> Behind the scenes right here. I hear you on the radio. You scared the shit out of me. I thought I was by myself. Let your way back there. And then just whoa! Oh, get the shit. <laughs> because the dust would go into a straight line, it would funnel up, and then it would look like there, it was a hill or the trail would Maybe continue nothing. up. Mm -hmm. And you're like, I'm just like preparing for a hill and then it would clear and then it'd be a dip and then it would be or it'd be like a right hand turn. What's up, B? You know what? What the time was that they uh, they had timed out back in this day? Yeah, it was uh, it was seven forty or seven thirty nine. What's the magic for? What's the fastest? How do you continuously uh, seem to just be doing it? Well, you know, I just keep checking along and I just do it. It was like just sand wash, like fifth, sixth gear, just tap. Yeah. Town of San Ignacio, Baja California, sir. And right now I'm joined with the second and third bikes in on this stage today. Gentlemen, introduce yourselves. Uh, Mitchell Butler. Calvin Peterson. Now Mitchell and Calvin are having good rallies so far. Now you're a little veteran of Nora's. You've done Nora before. Is this Nora? the 2022 version throwing anything different at you so far uh just getting used to that uh that road book honestly i like it better than the gps now that i've gotten used to it but other than that everything's pretty sound and the same now this is your first nora uh were you nervous before you started and now you're halfway through basically how are you feeling right now uh feeling good i was nervous uh first race i've done happened to navigate so that took some getting used to but uh yeah getting used to it now having fun now, the folks at home are probably wondering, how am I talking to these guys in the middle of a race? Uh, why don't you explain that, Mitchell, what's actually happening here? Uh, well, we had a transit this morning, so you're not actually on race time. And then you do the special, which is actually what your timed race is, and then you clock out. And you move to the next special section. So we, we have a minimum and a maximum time, that window that we're trying to hit. And uh, we're about to start the second special. So we got a little time. We're teammates, so we just kind of take a little breather. We got to change the back tire, so we got some time to kill. Well, awesome. You guys are having a great rally. 
We wish you continued success, and we'll hope to see you on the podium down there in San Jose del Cabo. San Ignacio right now, uh, starting this stage to the final stage to Loreto. Really challenging course over the mountains. Uh, they got about 200 miles to go before we see them again. Uh, Sterling has ridden this before and he knows it, so it should be a good run. What's your name? Hola. Adios. Amazing. It was another uh, another brutal day on the Vespa. A lot of crashes for Marcus. Uh, we got some great chase crew taking care of. I swear to God, if the Nora chase crew wasn't there, we would be screwed. Those guys are the best, man. We got our own personal guys that we've connected with, and they are taking care of us. We're taking care of them. Hi, guys. Today is very, very special day for me because we passed to, before 20, to 28 the parallel and well, day in the morning is very cold and now I will finish here, it's very hot, incredible view, incredible street, but we are uh, very fast in the, in the outside street, it's incredible, also dangerous but funny, funny day because don't have sand. And for us the sand is terrible. Best but don't go in the, the hot sun. Oh, magnifico. No problem. Our mechanic uh, Fabio have make the fantastic engine. The Vespa don't have a problem. The problem is my age. <laughs> Margaritas back at the hotel, and uh, you know, overall, good day. Not gonna lie, the riding today was pretty caca. It was all just fire roads and pretty trash, just rocky, sandy. Yesterday was a bit uh, way more to kind. Who is uh, who is faster, you, uh, you or Calvin? Uh, you know, it's a tough debate when it comes to that, but I may have to give the reins over to him. What be? He's just being nice. Good morning, another early start. We're in Loreto. Uh, this is day four of the uh, 2022 Nora Mexican 1000. So we're riding from uh, Loreto to La Paz today. We'll do a rider change at Ciudad Insurgentes, and uh, that's about 136 kilometers. And then uh, Calvin and uh, Mitch will get on and take us into La Paz. Bikes are running great. Uh, boys are doing fantastic in the navigation. Uh, starting to get a little sore and tired right now. This is pretty typical for day four. Uh, but we'll finish strong in La Paz later today.
Okay, 10-4, perfect. We're, uh, we're just coming up on Insert Head Day, so we'll be there. That's a nice way to start off. Though. Yeah, no kidding. An awesome deal. Like that, there was no that pacing part. myself. Right. That was a full on sprint. Right, right. I'm only one more day to go. Balls out. Congratulations. Talk all this up. All right. 
Oh, I had a navigation mistake at first. Took about five to ten minutes to figure out. Then my shroud fell off. What? Yeah, the shroud, the zip tie down here fell off, and the shroud was just flapping the wind. Then it stopped. Yeah, there's was this big patch. It was previously zip tied. I don't know. No. So they fucking mowed. They must have uh, graded all that that road that because it's the same road as last time. Yeah. But they graded it because none of those whoops are there. Really? None of them. Longest? Wasn't that hard? I don't know. I was sprint the whole way, but like apparently it used to be a lot of whoops and they graded it. So it's just six gear. Oh. How does it feel just uh, carrying the team on your back, always having to do the maintenance, you know, the daily work, you know, getting back to the pit after a full ride? And I honestly just see you pretty much working and hold, holding it down. I'm just happy to do it, buddy. I'm just happy to be here. Um, anything to make Nick's life easier. Um, that's it. Yeah, that's what I'm here for. B, how'd you get so close to the elevators there, huh? So, uh, so we're gonna go. How'd you get so close, B? What happened? The old man asked for it. <laughs> They saw me walk up to the counter. They said, you're crippled. Oh. You need to get close. There's a strong finish tomorrow. yesterday uh, past the monasteries hung along and a deer popped out and I uh, was lucky that you know it wouldn't a little bit slower I would have t-boned him instead he kind of started merging and angling and uh, his head hit my uh, gas tank and uh, busted up my shroud here and then uh, like I got instinctively put my boot out and caught him in the neck and he spun around hit the side of my bike and ripped off my airbox cover and I think he ended up under my rear tire because I caught a bump and then uh, just kept on going but I think for like half an hour I was sore like just from Tensing up, and it took me a while to you know get the adrenaline down. Plus I think it's like 26 clicks. That's a special. That's a special. And then and then you'll time out, and then we will we'll uh, we'll splash you guys there, and then you got 106 clicks to finish out. Okay.
Yeah, that was crazy. Rocky, huh? So rocky. Oh, he is. He's going to go down steps. Hey! 